Welcome to Trading Lounge and the Bitcoin Report for Friday, September 3rd and starting with Bitcoin on the daily chart here and we're looking at, well, what I think is the most bullish, the most logical bullish count. Um, Well, there is another bullish count that we're going to have a look at as well. Um, But in this case here, just looking at this as an expanded flat with wave one here, uh, sorry, wave three with an A and a B and a C here for wave four. And then looking at this as one and two here and counting up here as three, four and five. Remember the 61.8% mark is at 51,100. So uh, also here as well, this is just the 78.6, the square root of that. But normally I find we're probably between, well, above 50,000, we've got group minor group one, which is 51, 52 and 53. So if we got support on 53, then we would see further upside. It's okay for the market to trade above 53, but finding support on 53 or not finding support on 53 is what that's all about. Um, And if that's the case, then uh, with support, we would just be climbing higher at that point. Um, We'll have a look at a count that can take us that way. But if this is the count, then we'd be pulling back for wave two, that simple. We have seen this divergence here um, in this, um, you know, in this trend, but I don't particularly like looking at indicators like that, but I use them because people, they're on trend and people like them. So I prefer to look at the volume. So looking at the volume here, we can see that the price has been moving up and the volume volume has been diminishing. I mean, essentially, that's what you're looking at with that divergence with indicators. It's the same over here as this was pushing up through here. Yes, it was continuing up, but we're seeing lower and lower volume uh, until it came to a point that just, you know, it was too low to sustain and uh, and then turning it at that point. So, um, yeah, look, it's hard to be convinced about a bullish market. I mean, I just having difficulty getting my sort of head around the uh, around the situation you know we've had this as the a wave the b the wave and the c wave to this point here but this and we haven't made a new high yet but this appears to be corrective at this point so we should be making uh, a new high up through there but we're just looking at this bit stamp um chart because of the volume here we've shown it once before and yeah i just think that uh we just need to be mindful um of that and even so you know i mean a market pushing up would need a correction back in in due course anyway and it is hitting supply levels up here for all of this so lower volume supply levels um as i've always mentioned i would like to see a classic trading levels pattern at the fifty thousand. And that means that we would have the arrival here, the reaction here, the first high above the level, then a corrective pattern at that point. Um, That's what I would expect. And that's what we'd be looking at here. So we've got that, we've got that, and now we're sitting here somewhere. So we need that. And then we can look at uh, at it folding back and checking and slowly building because there's, in the chart there's a lot of supply over here up at the you know between 50 and 65 and 65 is a medium level, so it's going to kind of want to pin all that back down onto the 50. So it's going to this is you know this is the point of uh, change at that at that stage. The other count here that we've also looked at before don't need this now. The other chart the other way to look at this because I'd seen this here as, as you know, wave one, two, and three, the range is getting smaller and smaller on lower volume. That's why I think it's weak. Um, I just can't. Now that we've got that little corrective pattern in here, it makes it more bullish. So I, I still haven't sort of figured out how it can be a bearish pattern at this particular point. I've got one um, one point um, that we can look at. Maybe, maybe I'll do that tomorrow, but... Um, in the next video, um, wave four, uh, not wave four, <laughs> I've been making too many videos and going a bit potty. So this is the other one that we looked at. So, and this one here is considering this one as the low and, uh, there's a good case for that. There's, there's quite a few stocks. Re- I mean, um, if we come back here for a moment and let's just go back to a daily not not a one hour chart a daily daily situation here bring this in and uh 
Let me have a look here. I was looking at some some the other day. Um, what's this one here? Uh, Bitcoin Cash, we know that one. So it's got kind of a low here, hasn't it? Bitcoin Cash, you know, and you'll probably look at this as one, two, three, four here. And this uh, next one, uh, uh, much the same as well. It's got that deeper, deeper um, uh, move to the low here. <coughs> sure, um, it doesn't look in. Could be impulsive, not quite sure just yet with this because we've only probably got three waves up here at this stage. So probably one and two to this point, then one and two and three and four and five. So probably a fourth wave and fifth wave, which should probably be about um, about right. Um, because this stock here, see how this pattern here, we're thinking, well, that could be a fourth pattern in a fourth wave in the last one. It's made a new high here, you know, and it's got that low there. So is it possible to take Bitcoin from that low? you know, and looking it up as one, two, three, four, it would kind of fit the theme of things going across the board. Um, yeah, I mean, we know Ethereum's pushing up and we can have a quick look at that. So in this bullish count, we could take this as the low here and look at this as one and two and one and two and one and two and one and two. And in here, I've also been looking at one and two, which we can have a look on the tick chart. And we're talking about that yesterday. So yeah, and this would be one and two in here. So, so all this sort of fits okay. It's you know I don't know, but it's it's a long shot. It's sort of a bit bit hopeful I think, but um, in for a penny, in for a pound. Uh, how much do we need here? Twenty is that enough? Maybe a bit more. Okay, so we'd been looking at this here at um, wave one here and ABC for wave two and then up for one here. This alternative wave four is just something else I'm working on. Um, so wave one here with an A wave, a B wave and one, two, three, four, five for the C wave. And yes, everybody's going to say Pete, wave four overlaps that. But at the end of the day, it's the best fit for all of this. Um, I suppose you could look at it as um, uh, one, two, three, four, five for the A wave and then the B wave and then the C wave. Still same sort of result. Um, you know, and when we're looking at the bear market, we're looking at this as one and two and one and two and one and two to the downside and then one and back for two here to the 61.8%. But uh, we got that little impulse wave here off the low and then the corrective move here. So that's where I moved back in into my position at this point because I, sorry, I understood at that point we're going to be moving through the 61.8% of this of this high to this low at that point because we had five waves here that means we'd get another five which would take us too high at that point so um, that became obvious to me that the 646,500 wasn't going to be breached again this time so we didn't have that bear move um, so yesterday we started counting up here as one and two and then probably one and two and three and four and then all of this is the third wave or fourth wave and fifth wave a little bit tight and maybe that's an uh, we could count that a little bit differently but yesterday we talked about getting wave one up here and coming back for wave two so we could look at this as the a and the b here and this would be the c wave here so there's probably more to be had here all of that would be wave one and two and three and four and five so down to the forty-eight thousand for a bounce at this particular point in time um obviously if um you know if this keep coming down through here then uh uh, you know, Houston, SpaceX, what's the other one? Blue Origin, um, we've got a problem. Um, but it seems to be pretty bullish. I mean, if we look at ETH here for a moment, um, you know, if we take it from this high, we've got an A and a B and a C down to this point, we can look at this as, well, one and two and, well, you could probably, yeah, you'd have to look at this as one, two, three, four, five for the A wave, the B wave. But even if you didn't, take any of that on board you'd still have one and two here and we still don't have the third wave here the fourth or the fifth so there's still more upside for um for eth as we discussed yesterday in terms of the trading levels it's just at number eight here and we always call eight a profit taking number it's the third strongest number 
and uh, you can just always expect the bids to be hit. And when I say always, you know, you could say 95% or 99%, but, you know, that doesn't really mean anything, does it, when you think about it? But most of the time, when you get to number eight, you'll see profit-taking because it's the first sort of number that people, you know, it's the same as thinking about 10, isn't it? People don't think of nine or 11, they think of 10, you know? Um, there's that kind of psychology. So if you're moving up here and you wanted to take profit early, well, then eight, would be it you know because obviously everybody else is going to take it at four at the big hole number here so but yeah this structure is just not finished yet so we'll be looking for some sort of classic trading levels pattern on this uh on this uh on this in this area through here for this Alrighty, i'll leave it at that uh so thanks for tuning in cheers